Hello Libra! Welcome to your February 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Reading. Please like, subscribe and share widely. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. <laughs> now, Libra, remember, you are the seventh sign and we are in a seven year, which means Libra as such has the best support net with regards to energy of any sign there is because you are in the energy that supports your natural vibration and that is happening the entire 2023. Now, that's bloody awesome in itself. So just remember this. So what I'm trying to say here in my own clumsy way is whatever you convince yourself that you cannot do, right, in 2023, you can go like, yeah, maybe I'll give it another go, right? Because your energy by default is stronger, which means whatever you say and manifest and do will happen. When you are very negative, your brain will actually produce um, negative feedback lines, right? So you stay negative oftentimes because that's what your general attitude is. And so, and that works the other way. So if you say like, yeah, I actually have a mantra that I give to, to my clients, um, and uh, that's the mantra. I'm a fucking legend. I'm a fucking legend. <laughs> it's just a bit of fun. But imagine you wake up in the morning and instead of saying, oh, I wonder what this day brings, you go like, I'm a fucking legend. Right? You have way more fun because it cracks you up. It's not about ego. It's about understanding, yeah, if I can raise my vibration in the morning, how awesome is that? So all I'm saying is remember that you are in a very, very envious position for the entirety of 2023 simply by being the seventh sign. Now, and Libra as a sign, you need and crave harmony above all else. It is an imprint that you have agreed to have when you chose to be born in that sign, right? Which is what we believe shamanically, right? You choose to be born uh, to whom, where, and when. So point is, remember the energy is stronger, so live by that knowledge, yes, I can go for stuff and yes, I can make things work. Really, really important. And that's not even the overall energy. So we're looking at three things here now for you. You're probably looking at the overall energy for the month of February 2023 for your very sign before we then look into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in or if there's healing that needs to happen before we then lastly go into opportunities. Now opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially. Okay, so shall we do this? I'm drawn to my galaxy ball. Um, let's have a look. So with regards to the overall energy for, for Libra, the answer is really straightforward. What the guides are saying is, your job is to simply just keep going, right? We sort of talked about it already with your energy here. Keep going. Focus on what it is you want and keep going because the galaxies here or the, the constellations or if you so if you if you so choose the resins um, literally showed a propulsion which means you're going up right so make sure you're not stopping yourself this month in February 2023 for your sign of Libra go for what you want be determined to get there right. So that's the overall energy for the months ahead. And now we're looking at your emotional core. Let's see what we got there. Okay, so <laughs> Libra, there is a bit of a, um, there's a few clusters in your energy that has to do with attracting people. So. It's not necessarily, so what I'm getting is there's not, they're not talking to me about healing that needs to happen, even though all signs need, heal, need healing, that's not what I'm, I'm knocking here. <clears throat> but the energy here for you is more about attracting or sustaining the relationships you are in. And again, this is about intimate relationships and there's a cluster, which means there are elements of that relationship that you carry with you that don't quite serve you anymore. So if there needs to be some changes in a relationship, uh, this is the month where you actually have to state it and say like, look mate, you know, let's look at this, let's talk about this. 
right? That's really all it is. And and the, the clusters, as it were, um, weren't bigger than you, or, you know, so the, obviously it's all visual, visualization, but the point is, it is all doable. So conversely, if you are single, then ask yourself, am I still holding on to what happened to me before? Right? Maybe I have problems attracting because I can't get past whatever the other person did that came before a potential uh, potential <laughs> new partner. Right? Because remember, you know, we're all to a certain extent damaged goods and we all have to have a have a suitcase full of shit that we just carry with us and then eventually we are asked to empty it to make new beginnings easier and more harmonious. And harmony is what your sign craves above uh, all else. Now for the um, opportunities, I'm not drawn to the galaxy ball, I'm drawn to my um, astrology cards. So, hey, awesome. <laughs> so remember, if all else fails, always remember, you're a legend, right? Because the energy that that comes in for the sign of Libra in the sign of February uh, in the months of February 2023 is the energy of abundance, abundance and Jupiter. Now, astrologically speaking, it is believed that Jupiter is the first planet that was ever that ever formed, right after the Big Bang, if that makes sense. Which is a bit uh, simplified, you know, because there is an echo literally that happened after the Big Bang and it took about, you know, uh, a couple of hundred thousand years before the universe actually then became sort of transparent and you could actually see where you're going. So the point is, nothing ever formed quickly. But when planets started forming, when the gravity finally took hold of things, um, Jupiter is the very first planet to ever form. Therefore, Jupiter is saying, hey, I've seen it all. Nothing scares me. And also, it's one of those energies when someone says to you like, oh, for the new job, can you ride a bike? And you have never ridden a bike. So, Absolutely. And then you have four days to learn it because that's when the job starts, right? So the point they're making is you have Jupiter, which is the happy-go-lucky planet. And you have abundance, which means when you think outside of your comfort zone and you kind of go, like, yeah, maybe I should go for something I haven't done before. Um, why should I limit? Why should you limit yourself to what you've always known? If that makes sense, this is the month for you to 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 trust that, and then do just that. Okie dokie, Libra. Thank you so much for watching. You are watching Thomas's Tower reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe, and share. And remember, if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's all I got. And I see you hopefully next month. Bye-bye.